Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Alex. Welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Today, we're going to be having a look at the TC Electronic Spark Mini Booster. So, this works exactly as the name implies. It's a little boost pedal. It sits in your effects chain, and from there you can do a wide variety of things to your incoming signal. If you have a clean channel coming in, you can give it a little bit of grit just to kind of break it up. Uh, if you already on some kind of ultra crunchy type sound, you can just give a little bit of a boost to kind of make your solo cut through a little bit more. There's also a little bit of EQ here as well. We're going to have a look at it now. We have four dials here. We have gain, which controls the amount of gain. Isn't that surprising? We've got level, which is the uh, the volume of the, uh, of the signal coming through. We've got bass and we've also got treble. So these two here will help you sculpt your signal a little bit. But we've also got fat, medium, and what is it there? Fat, clean, and mid as well down the uh, down on this uh, clicky thing in the middle. Um, which just allows you to give a little bit more sculpting to your sound. So at the moment, I'm coming through um, my Black Star uh, Stereo 10. So here's the clean sound. Let's just boost the volume there. There we go, so that's a lovely... So there we go. We've got our uh, we've got a clean tone there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to going to dial the gain all the way back and then just pop it on. And of course we can do a bit of tone sculpting there as well, so let's dial back the bass a bit, boost the treble. So you can see where we're kind of going. Uh, I might just roll off the gain there on that. But then when we start putting a little bit of gain in, you can see here that compared to that. So I'll just go back to the clean tone. So there's a clean tone now. Let's let's we hit this gain pedal or this gain this gain setting and let's just check out this crunch. Great does that sound man and like from there you get this little you get this lovely kind of breakup of the signal and you know it gives you this lovely kind of creamy breakup and again, you know, I'm 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 using that that affinity square that you saw in the uh, in the previous videos. So it still does have this particular sound does have that kind of Fender bounce to it. But let's let's crank up that gain, shall we, and see what we've got? Okay. Uh, what should we play?
it's it's just got something about it. It gives you just a lovely bit of um, a lovely bit of ooh ooh la la. And I hate to be all kind of tone junky and blues dad about it, but it, it does have that kind of lovely kind of breakup of. You know, it's just got oh, it's got something about it, man. And if we flick through these these dials in the middle, so I've always got it on fat. But if we put it to if we put it to clean, honestly, I can't tell much difference. Um, the the obviously the clean one sounds a little bit brighter the the mid is in the middle and then the fat one just gives it that little bit of extra kind of chunk on the bottom you know i i, I think it's a lovely pedal it's about 60 pounds there is a mini version of it as well which i've not tried out yet but um i think <laughs> If it sounds anywhere as good as this, it's definitely worth a look in. And then, you know, if you wanted to use this as a kind of like a lead boost kind of pedal, you pop on some reverb and then you've kind of got this. Obviously some work to do on playing that, but it's one of my favourite licks, so I'll keep playing it until I get it right. Um, or until I never get it wrong, rather. That's how you should practice. Um, but like I say, you've just got some lovely... And then if you just want to kind of... Some lovely, lovely tones from that. So, this arrived yesterday, I think, and already it, I I can't see me getting rid of it for a while. A lot of people have tried, you know, so many different overdrives or fuzz boxes or whatever. I've tried the Rat, I've tried the TC Electronic Grand Magus, I've had the Metal Muff on there, I've had a Moor Rage, I've had... Uh, I didn't really get even get on with the Tube Screamer that well, to be honest, but this has given me a little bit of customization. <laughs> to do exactly what I want, and I'm going to be trying this out as a bass booster pedal as well. Um, but for 60 quid, I think it's absolutely friggin' amazing. You know, it gives you that really kind of nice blues rock kind of... Or whatever it was. You, you know that, you know that lick. Anyway. That is the TC uh, Spark Mini Booster. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, if you have. Uh, let me know how you feel about it. I'm going to be trying and getting a, a better audio setup as well, so hopefully we can have a dedicated microphone for the uh, for the uh, amplifier at some point. At the moment, this is just stretched across my kind of dining table setup. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. And until then, just rock and or roll, I guess. See ya.